Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so ready? Ready, ready. Okay, uh, February 7, 2015, Saturday. This uh, major nozzle, mm. uh, male neuter, 8 years old, comes in with a big lump here on, on the tail end. Now, this lump is most likely a skin tumor because old dogs, uh, they do get skin tumors. So, the, the treatment is to excise it, it means to cut it off mm. and send to the lab for to check. Uh. Then if it's cancerous, of course, then, then uh, maybe you have to cut off the whole mm. tail. If, it, not if it's cancerous, otherwise you'll come back again as it will spread. Uh. No medication? No, no, there's no treatment. Uh, drugs are you talking about? Uh, there's no drugs. Uh. No, no, I'm just saying it if it's cancerous. Uh. If it's not cancerous, then of course, then of course, uh, you know so. Uh, so the the, the trouble, the, human, uh, mm, the problem is that the skin is very hard to stitch up here. So the vet should cut at least quite a big area, just in case it's cancerous. This area is quite big, mm. so that uh, any any cancer cells will will have spread to here, but you haven't come to here. So this is the recommended method uh, to have a big margin we call it uh. so as you can see this big margin is the best because uh, if it's cancerous some of the cancer cells might be here mm. so if you cut just like this of course if it's cancerous there will be more cells at the side and it will come back again mm-hmm. now put your hand below so many owners they are not uh, happy with because in this case the tail probably has been cut off because as you can see the the skin is up to here so, so they will be hard to stitch up now the other way is of course we will just cut here only here and this is mostly uh, what the owner wants because then it's a small hole mm-hmm. and then the stitching will be here to here so I just explained to you that uh, wait, see, you, you put your hand, put your hand below uh, so there are two ways. So, so which way do you want? Because uh, I don't be uh, later. We you. see how la, we so just we cut, cut the lump first. Ah, we cut the lump first, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so it's good that uh, to inform the owner mm. that the the ideal way is to cut the bigger margin. Uh. Okay. Now we check for inner set. Uh, uh, in red, see, you can see. Uh, wait, uh, put the, no, hold, put the tail up. <coughs> put the tail up. Below here, see, you can see it with your hand. Put it left hander, right? See left hander. Mm. You can see it, and oil come up. Let oil. Let me feel first. Huh? It's further in, eh? Here, here, further in. Now you can video, it's further in like that. You can video from below. You, you can come down below. The camera is below here. So one uh, so you can see that there's a lot of oil but still some more here. Now you put your hand below, you put your hand below, so support. And uh, that's actually two pieces of scanner. So many, so many you cannot press, is it? Just do properly, divide into four. But pull very high, pull the tail very high. And because if we do operation the oil might come out, so you, you have to express the inner sac. Oh yeah. yeah, I see it. very good. So this should many many days you never do right. Mm-hmm. So one more time. So this 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 lump could be of course due to inner sac infection. The dog been biting the tail. The dog been biting the tail. You can't reach. Why <coughs> cannot reach? So if it's biting the tail, then this could be a traumatic injury.